Who wouldn't want to make a lot of money? Posting things on YouTube about things that they like. A year ago, I tried creating a travel channel. I didn't try, I am. I went through 11 countries in the past 10 months. I was committed to making travel vlogs that were uh, that would show what I was doing. And you know, I put a bunch of videos out there and here's what I learned. One, vlogging takes a lot of work. From filming, from editing, the hours put in. Also, you're typically videoing the best moments on your trip, which means you don't necessarily get to, I guess, embrace them. Uh, and I give a lot of credit to creators and content providers that you know, I've built their subscribers and their YouTube channels up because it is a lot of work. It's not just simply pressing play. So I finally got my first return from my YouTube videos. Now, I do have a couple videos that, in my opinion, for me, being bare, just under 1,000 subscribers, I'm almost there, being just under 1,000 subscribers and not having much of an audience, I finally got my first payment and my first, I guess you could say, miscellaneous 1099 on what I earn. So here, after several videos that have 30,000 plus views and 20,000 plus views, because I know we all want to make it huge on YouTube, I mean, I'm kind of a big deal now. It's a lot of views. Here is what I made. Dun, da, da, da. A total of $143.62. <laughs> Woo! I am buying a Ferrari. Just kidding. Now, let me tell you what. I would have done it if no money was given at all. So this is something that I do want to address. Four really important things for those of you that want to create a YouTube channel that I learned over the last year that I'm gonna fix this year. Number one is quality. Quality, quality, quality. There's hundreds of thousands of videos out there. What is gonna make yours stand apart is the, the quality of what you produce. Secondly, consistency. That's the biggest one I learned. You can't just put out videos every now and then. You gotta be consistent and as you start to build a subscriber and fan base, they need to know when your videos are gonna come out. So consistency. Number three, patience. You have to be patient for it. It's like any great thing out there that's gonna uh, snowball and compound over time, you have to be in it for the long game. You cannot simply just put one video. You know, I have friends that text me, let's create a, a viral video. I've had several of them. That sounds great, I'd love to, trust me. It's not that easy. You gotta think long term with this. It's like anything else in life. And lastly, and most importantly, uh, it can't be about making money. The first three things, all right, have to be the most important thing. And I tell you what, if you create video content because you want to just simply share your ideas, share your vision, share what you're doing, you will then build a subscriber base over time. If you are simply going to create videos just to make money, it won't happen. It, I mean, it might, but it, realistically, it probably won't. If you're looking to just quit your job and become a YouTube creator, I'm gonna tell you, start now, but do not quit your job, all right? It's gonna take time, and it's gonna take that consistency, the quality, and most importantly, you gotta love what you are talking about. If you love what you're talking about, people will sense it, they'll feel it, and they'll follow you. So, wow, I made $143 this last year on YouTube, which is great. It's $143 I didn't have. And also, I did those videos just because I wanted to create a, I guess, video diary of my travels. So one day when I'm old, my grandchildren can look back and see that I wasn't you know, some boring old geezer. Uh, I would have done it for free. And that's the mindset that you gotta have going into this. Everything will also follow, but also know, hey, you can make a little bit of money doing what you love, which is also cool. Take care.